Greetings fellow YouTubers, this is Hunt Ionex, and today we're doing a video review on Studio Series Nest Bumblebee. So starting off in the vehicle mode, as you can see it is, you know, the Jeep from the Bumblebee movie, but it is gray. It has some green. Get the seat detail right there. It can adjust through the transformation. Uh, the code at the bottom of the foot right there is a little annoying because it's there in vehicle mode, but I mean bottom of the foot in robot mode so I don't know if it's gonna you know it's, it's not a big deal the tires on the back mine's warped right here so this part is really loose and probably pop off when I transform it rolls really well like for pushed in wheels that is really nice and then of course the big selling point of the figure is that right there the, the nest logo some size comparison, uh, here he is with the included Sam. As you can see, it's just the Shia LaBeouf that is running. I feel like he's too big. Like, I feel like proportionally he's way too big. It just, does, it just doesn't work in that. I don't feel like he would fit. This, however, the uh, Masterpiece Spike, I think actually fits not too bad. In fact, and get him to fold up here if you can shove his feet you see like this if you can get his feet shoved up in the gaps I think you can actually have mp10 spike sit behind the steering wheel and that, that looks pretty good so that's pretty nice and then here he is with the human alliance spike I've had this one since I was a kid so he is not in a not in good shape anyway now that we have all that out of the way, here's a vehicle mode comparison. Where did I put that? For vehicle mode comparison, here he is with the uh, Earthrise Netflix Bumblebee. Just to give you kind of an idea. Like Volkswagen Beetle Jeep. Yeah. Surprisingly, the Jeep is about. It's actually a little shorter than the one with So, yeah. Anyway, on to the transformation. So here's Studio Series Bumblebee in robot mode, and I like it. I like the look of this. This is really cool. It's not as painted, because from what I understand, they switched the silver from here to be somewhere else. I can't recall where. I put a Editing me, put put it right here. What the original looked like. Thank you. They, they, there you go. But yeah, so coming in close here. That face. And it's just this is just cute, cute little goblin alien monster face. Clear plastic chest. Now this is something to be cautious about. This is clear plastic. This might be clear plastic. I don't know. This is clear plastic. So you gotta watch out for those. It feels sturdy because this is this is a re-release of that bumblebee with new plastics. So it may not be as fragile as the original clear plastic that was on the Jeep bumblebee, or it might be weaker i don't know time kind of has to play an effect with that but from what it feels like it feels sturdy it feels like legacy style plastic so it's probably not going to break hopefully maybe but yeah going all the way down a little kibbly on the back a little kibbly on the legs but i mean it's fine for those smaller ones now you do have this this bugs me the the peg stone peg stone peg hole for our flight stand it's really low you can just kind of 
fold that up, but even then you still have that little lip right there. It doesn't look bad, but like, well, why is it there? <laughs> it's just why. It, it's not really entirely needed for the alt mode other than to hide like a gap it might cause. But yeah, you can see you got a backpack, but it's not a horrible. And hey, at least it's not, you know, a shield you rip off, plug back onto him like a certain other fellow. But yeah, so in terms of articulation, Bumblebee's got a ball joint at the head, gives you some decent expression for the most part, mainly swivels. And then of course he's got a hinge for transformation so he can look all the way up. You know, he can he can do an Iron Giant Superman. You know, that thing. Ball joint at the arms so it, you know, swivels around. Bicep swivel, hinge at the elbow, uh, waist swivel, it's a pretty good range. Ball joints, really nice, kick forward, kick all the way up, that is a really nice kick. Back, uh, not so much, but that's due to the kibble in the back. Knee bend, really decent, knee bend. I think he's got a hinge joint at the ankle, followed by a ball joint, so you can get some really good range out of that, and then of course, ball joint at the very end, so get some pivot, and voila. So you can get him in some nice poses. That's a really good pose right there. Just really dynamic, really simple to work with. That's something that I like about Studio Series, that they incorporate the modern articulation, but they do it in a way that makes the whole thing feel more enjoyable. You always got the vibe with movie Transformers is that because they were so detailed, every part had to interact for the transformation to make it look as screen accurate as possible and it really made the transformations really complex and Studio Series kind of shrinks it down into a more traditional you know 2010 ish era Transformers transformation style and I really like that so when it comes to his accessories you get again a little running Sam which doesn't make too much sense because this is Bumblebee from my Bumblebee movie but it's nest like sector 7 colors it's weird. You, you get why he's here. It's an homage to the old Nest and Sector 7 lines from the first two movies. You know, it's just, it's, just, it's just what it's there for. So Sam's just here, I guess. He can run alongside Bumblebee. Also get Bumblebee's arm cannon, which you can actually plug in at the bottom of the Jeep. And then, of course, you just kind of plug it right on there. It is slit right there in the middle, so it actually kind of mushroom pegs into his hand. So it really stays planted in there. And yeah, get some cool poses. Can I get him in like the, the Mega Man thing? Eh, kinda. You have to turn his arm so he can reach it. But yeah, you can put him in the little Mega Man pose. But yeah, you can put him in the little Mega Man pose. I think that looks cool. But yeah, now on to the size comparison. So here's Nest Bumblebee next to World War II Bumblebee from Studio Series and just, you know, the deluxe Earthrise Bumblebee. And yeah, he's that kind of smaller deluxe size. He's not like Legends-y size like this one is. He's kind of a nice Scout class size, like an old school Scout class. And in fact, that's what he feels like, just with maybe like a couple more steps to him. That makes him feel a little bit more worth that $23 price point. He tends to be at most of the time, or 25, depending on where you find him. And here's Studio Series Nest Bumblebee with Model Kit, Cliff Jumper, and Voyager Studio Series Soundwave. I can't be bothered to put him in frame, so he is just there. You can see how small he is. So there you guys have it. That is my video review on Studio Series Nest Bumblebee. I think this is a really cool figure like it's it's a cool figure obviously if you want this deco that's your thing personally i went with this deco because i thought it would just kind of fit better with my collection and it turns out he doesn't because i have too many gray and green uh transformers as it is i, I need a lot more color on my bayformers shelf <laughs> so but yeah I, I think this is a great figure and i think this is a great opportunity for you to get that figure if you want it to stand out more in your collection and be obviously Bumblebee and tracking down the old one is a good idea. But as he is, I think this is a great figure. Fantastic buy and it's absolutely worth it. I love this guy. Uh, the little uh, little Shia LaBeouf though I think is a little uh, 
it's a, little, a little redundant considering almost every you know standard bay bumblebee comes with this little pvc thing so i don't know how worth it that is so there you guys have it if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe check out my other videos check out my social medias in the description down below to keep up to date with whatever i decide to put out i'm actually the most active on twitter most of the time but i am getting a little bit more back into instagram until next time you guys peace